What's up guys, Matt Schiffler with American Made Exotics here. So we got a couple cool clutches to pull today. I um, wanted to share them with you. There's a couple that I'm excited for. Uh, it looks like some big clutches and lots of good eggs. Um, lots of cool projects and stuff. There's a couple of them that got some uh, potential holdbacks in it. So let's go ahead and start pulling some tubs and we'll see what we got. All right, so this one we have a chocolate Mojave, 100% het hypo pie that I bred to a vanilla hypo, 100% het DG pie. Wouldn't normally consider doing a pairing like that if it wasn't for the shed testing. Uh, but we did that last year too, and we were able to make uh, animals that were visual hypos, posset pied, posset desert ghost, and we could shed test them and see which ones were 100%. And same with making the hypo pieds. We ended up making a hypo pied uh, with vanilla in it last year that ended up being 100% head desert ghost with shed testing. So let's candle and make sure they're all good. Right, so that one's good. That's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. And this other one hiding under here, that's good too. So all six are good eggs. All right, so six eggs. Uh, not the biggest clutch, but you know, we could hit one really cool animal in there that puts us ahead in that project. Um, we did this kind of pairings last year. Um, same male, and we put them on some of our double head hyper pod stuff. Even though we didn't have a shot at making DG, uh, we figured it was a good way for us to make some hypo pied stuff, and then we would just do shed testing on it. And we ended up getting lucky and hitting at least a male that was a vanilla hypo pied that proved 100% head desert ghost. So that'll help increase our odds next year. And we hit a lot of girls in there that we set to the side that proved out with genetic testing that are gonna be really helpful for us in making some super vanilla uh, hypo DG pies in the future and then hopefully get that chocolate in the mix and a couple other genes. So using the shed test to really let us do something that we wouldn't normally have been able to do in the past without just keeping tons of animals and raising them up and a lot of them not proven out to be what you wanted. So just another pairing we did to utilize the shed testing. So we'll go ahead and get this one in there and we will see what else we got today. All right, so this is a duplicate pairing that we already have eggs in the incubator from different females, but the exact same pairing. Uh, we did these pairings last year too, and we produced some really cool animals uh, with that redhead stuff. Um, so this is a leopard clown, 100% head pie that we bred to a redhead spot nose fire yellow belly. And looks like a nice big clutch. So um, hopefully some good odds and we Hit some cool stuff in this one too. No eggs in there. We'll go ahead and sit her to the side, get her washed up. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven eggs, and one slug. So not shabby, but let's go ahead and can them and make sure they're all good. All right, so that's good. 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 That's good and that's good. So all 11 of them are nice, solid, good eggs. 11 eggs, uh, that's what we like to see there. They're nice, big clutches. Uh, help bring the odds a little bit in our favor. Because uh, we hit that combo last year that we think is a leopard, spot nose, fire, yellow belly, redhead. 100% head clown, 50% posset pie. It's got a huge ringer on it. So confident that's going to prove our head pie. And it's just a really cool looking animal. We hit a male like that last year, so really hoping to hit a female because um, it just looked like a cool animal and it's something that I could put to the side and definitely not get tired of looking at anytime soon. So we're going to get these in there and we'll have to wait it out and see what the odds give us on this one. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, so last but not least, we have a Pasto Triple Hut Desert Ghost Clown Pie bred to a Desert Ghost Clown Pastel, 100% Het Pied, and a Desert Ghost Het Clown Pied. So the DG Double Het Clown Pied was a little bit older. So we ended up starting some of them girls with him and then coming back behind him with the stronger male. Um, not ideal because now we don't 100% know if they're 100% Het just off the pairing, but 
we already knew that either way we used it, we would have to shed test for the pie to see if they were pied or not. So we figured we'd start them with the older male and then come back behind and we'll just shed test for clown and pied. Both of them are visual desert ghosts, so we know they're going to be 100% head desert ghosts, even if they're not visuals. Looks like a good size clutch. Nothing stuck in there. Uh, but again, just uh, trying to use the tools we have at hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine eggs. So hopefully, you know, that DG Clown pet pie male was the one that locked her last. So hopefully he's the one that takes it. Let's go ahead and can them and make sure they're all good. So that's good. 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 And that's good. So cool. All, all the eggs are good and strong. All right. So nine eggs. It was definitely a long shot when we were doing triple head to triple head. So definitely glad to at least have um, the DG double head male and the double visual pastel DG clown head pied male. That's going to really bring the odds a little bit more in our favor and make it a little bit more achievable um still still you know it's it's a long shot odds it's not the easiest thing in the world to hit uh, but at least we're bringing the odds a little bit more in our favor um every year we try to make it and miss and hold back the the animals that still can take us farther in that project so we'll see it's a cool looking animal we were lucky to hit the one triple visual and raise her up while well, I finished boxing this up. The last time I tried to let you get a look at her, she was really deep in shed. So we'll try it again and see if she's not in shed this time. All right, so this is the pastel Desert Ghost Clown Pie female that we hit. A really cool looking animal, super bright. Uh, being in shed last time we shed her off really didn't do her justice. Such a cool, bright animal. Pastel definitely has a place in the hobby, especially when it's mixed in with the Desert Ghost. So hopefully we get lucky and we hit a couple more like this. Um, it'd be really nice to see a male. But again, we just got to cross our fingers and wait it out and see what the incubator blesses us with. Alright, so a few more on the shelf. And they're really starting to pile up in here. Um, that puts us at 401 eggs. So we just barely broke 400, but you know, good feeling, the eggs on both sides. Um, stuff should start hatching like any day now, and then we'll be kind of just chasing the cycle as stuff hatches and stuff keeps getting laid. Um, probably not even halfway into our season right now, so still a lot more to come. Um, things are starting to kind of pick up. So um, as we get, you know, babies hatching and more eggs laid, we'll be sure to follow up with updates. So I appreciate y'all watching until the next one.